What's up guys, so in this video I wanted to give you a quick tutorial on how to automatically run a script based on an automation. So I'm going to do a few different automations, whether you want it to run like every time a record is created, whether it's like every time it's like a Monday or any time it's a specific time. Now if you haven't met me before, my name is Ben Green, I'm the owner of Optimize IS and what we do is we help business owners optimize their information systems. So whether that's stuff like Slack, Asana, Airtable, or whole systems like project management, CRM, communication. So we set up all the systems for your business and if you're interested, go check out the link in the description. But without further ado, we'll get right into the video now. What's up? So as you can see, I am in a sales CRM database and that for this example does not particularly matter because your script could do really anything. So for my script, I'm just gonna have the most simple script in the world and it's just gonna be the stock one. So for me, it doesn't exactly matter what script that I'm using but for you, it's going to matter because you have your own script and scripts are very in depth. So I'm just gonna get straight into this automation right here on the right. If I click in here, click on automations, and then I'm gonna exit out of this one and then I'm just gonna create a new one in here. So if I create a new automation, we're gonna say this one is a script tutorial. First, I'm gonna show you how to set it up just the most basic way and then I'm gonna show you a few variants to that that might be helpful for you and your use case in your business. So this first one is choosing a trigger. So this trigger is gonna be really up to you, whichever one you know, like whether it's on time, you can set up your base in a way that you can run it based on what time, like the time. You can set it up on like when a record is created, when a record is updated, when a record enters a view, or when like something external happens. So like when a Google Calendar event happens, when, a row is created in a Google Sheet, when a form response arrives from a Google form, when an email is received from an Outlook email, when an event is created in an Outlook calendar. So you can choose any of these. For me, I'm just going to choose the most basic one, when record is created. You start by just picking which table it's going to be in. So for me, I'm just going to choose contact table. So when a new contact is added, maybe I want to run a script where it like validates their email or adds them to a particular opportunity or whatever that be, may be, so be it. So that part doesn't matter as much for me, but for your use case, I want you to think about like, what is the trigger gonna be for you? Like, it's gonna be if, when this happens, then this happens. If this happens, then this happens. So make sure just get that straight for you and then pick the right trigger. The most common ones for Zapier, a lot of times we'll use like views with filters, but with Airtable, Airtable internal automations, they you have the benefit in here of just using that when a record is matching certain conditions rather than creating a whole view for it. But now we will add the action and this is the most important part. You click add an action and then right here you click run script. So now if you have your script running maybe in your scripting app, this is where you would wanna go copy that and paste it in here. Obviously if you wrote your script out then you know how to write the script, you can just copy it and paste it in here. Paste your script in there, and then you click test. So paste your script, click test. Test ran successfully, so it ran very fast, and it said, hello, sales CRM. So that's perfect, that's exactly what, it, what we wanted to do when you have your script in here. As long as you get your script working right and you get all of the inputs and everything all set up, then you'll be able to just paste it in here, click test, and then click finish editing. And then after you do that, you can click done and then you can come up here and toggle it on. And after you do that, in this example, every time a record is created, it will run the, sp the specific script that you set up. Now, I don't think that this works quite as well for the script templates that they give. Nearly all of those, if I am correct, they require a input variable. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna come in here to your apps and say you already have like your script set up. So like this one is how to validate emails. And for this one, you have to put in the table, you have to put in the field and then you can run it. And like this one will come up with the one that's bad. And if you want to put this in an automation, what you want to do is you want to edit this script. So you need to know a little bit about scripting, but you want to edit the script and you want to hard code in the table and, and you want to hard code the email into your script. So you can do that with any of these Airtable scripts if you go up here and install an app 
you can come to these scripts and you can see right now as of December 22nd, they have 12 scripts in here. So you can come in here and install these scripts, get them working really well for your use case. And then you can go back in and edit in the hard code of like what the inputs are. And then after that, you should be able to copy it into your script automation where it's like when a record matches these conditions, it automatically runs the script and maybe creates, imports YouTube analytics, deletes duplicates, creates a junction table, validates emails, randomizes values, et cetera, et cetera. So this should be really useful for running scripts. And if you are new to automations or just want to learn some more about automations, you can go watch this video right here. It's my introduction to automations. It's gonna be great if you want to maybe include some reminder automation or just some like task automation, project management automation. It's gonna really teach you just how to do, set up these more of these automations in your business. So go check that out, how to set up automations in Airtable.